Hello and welcome to this Game Pit Pit Stop for Wang Do, designed by Frank Rattan, Gregoire Larger and Sebastian Porchan and published by Mandu Games. In Wang Do, each of the players is a prince of the Bear Kingdom and they're going to be travelling the land, erecting these sacred bear stels in the four different areas of learning to prove that they are worthy of the throne once the king passes away. On a player's turn, they've got two options. They're either going to gather stells or they're going to try and place one on the board in order to gather these knowledge tokens. And indeed, once you've gathered enough knowledge tokens to fill your four columns, that's two and a three or four player game, three and a two player game, you're going to be the winner of the game unless someone else does it on that round when we get to a tiebreaker of these seals, which you'll see in some of the tokens and the cards in a sec. So the first thing you can do is gather stells. You can come across here to these temples. If there are any in there, you make two, take two of them off your choice and bring them into your own little collection there. The second thing you can do when gathering is to go dipping into the bag, take any three random ones out of there and again add them to your collection. Now why are we doing this? Because we want to erect them and to do so we are going to find a place with a knowledge token which is adjacent to at least one stell. Then we're going to place a colour stell on there. It cannot be the same colour as anything adjacent to it. So up here we can place black, white or orange. We're going to choose to place an orange. When we do that, we take the knowledge token and put it on our board. We then must pay stells of any colours of those adjacent. So in this case, it's just a blue one, and that would go in the blue temple. In this case, filling up. We'll come back to that in a second. However, if I was to want to place an orange one in here, I'd have to pay blue, black, and white into these temples. I couldn't do that now, however, because you can only take as many as there are spaces on here. So once I'm done with that type of knowledge token, I cannot collect any more of them, reducing your options as the game goes on. Now, if you do fill up one of these altars, you take all of those and put them back into the bag. And you then get to choose one stell from those remaining in the temples. When you complete these columns, as well as winning you the game, if you complete all four and no one else does on that round, you also get to draw one of these seal cards. And these seal cards will let you break the rule somehow, for example, letting you spend that to place an extra one two extra seals to help with the tiebreaker at the end of the game if you acquire it, exchanging your stells with other players or switching the position of adjacent pieces and you get the idea that those will help you do them and you can hold a maximum of four of those because you'll get one for each of the columns, complete your four columns first and you will be the winner of Wang Do. This has been a Game Pit Pit Stop. For more videos like this, check out our YouTube channel. For more in-depth coverage of gaming, please check out the Game Pit Podcast. Thank you.